and the marketer, I want to bring, I want to get my daily active users up, right? If you generate a lead, okay, that's one thing, but how many times have they gone back to the website? Mm -hmm. That's the metric I'm looking at. I want to increase the number of people that go back to the website. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many people get that email? Yeah, I I send out an email right now to 33,000 people. Do you know how many people are in your database? And the what I'm looking for here, you guys, why I'm asking these questions is it's interesting. I have 400,000 in my database, but only 60,000 on my email list because we give everyone the ability to opt out. Yeah. And I do think there is a point of diminishing returns when it comes to communicating with a list, depending on the content that you're sending to them. If they don't feel it's content specific, there's, you run the risk of them opting out. It sounds like you're sending a lot of freaking emails. So I'm just curious. I send a lot of emails and I, and I, you know, one of the things that people were scared of getting unsubscribes. Well, you're right. going to get unsubscribes when you have too many call to actions. It's too cookie cutter. It's canned yep. BS real estate stuff. Yep. Mine, all text. So it's a custom. You're, it's personal. All jet, all test. I'm, oh, I yeah. write, I write like I'm talking to you. Mm, I like that. Is it, uh, do you use their first name? Auto yes. Yes. The first name on I, there? I, I, hey. Are there any other smart functions? Cause like if you do auto emails through Boomtown, which I think they call smart drip. Is that yeah, the smart, smart drip? drip or e-alerts? Yep. The alerts are a smart drip. So you can actually say time of day or it can say, I hope you're having a great morning or afternoon or evening. It makes it feel like it was custom just for them. Yeah, are well, you doing anything like that in MailChimp? Well, I call it the hostage. I call it the hostage test. The hostage touch is this. You know, when you have a hostage, you want to show that they're alive. What do you have them do? Hold a newspaper up with Hold the date. The newspaper that you took the picture. Up. Okay. It's, it's the date on the newspaper, but it's also the headline in the newspaper. So what's more realistic, the headline. So I'll give you an example. We just had the SBF uh, crash or the whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Like I might say, I might say something like, you know, hi, Jeff, you know. Ooh, I get it. That's like, a good Hi, one. Jeff. I was just noticing mm. that crypto just crashed. SBF got Dude. arrested in the Bahamas. Hmm. Speaking of the Bahamas, what, then, then I go, then Do you I need roll, a leak home. Here's a leak. Click though. Here's the lake. Show. That's the freaking Bahamas. awesome, here's dude. So you're home. almost like their news source. Well, it's here's the thing: you have to take things from outside of our industry mm-hmm. and grab them into our and pull them into our industry to give them the message. Give them what I they like want that. to give them. So, so it takes practice to write like that, right? If you think about radio ads, the most effective radio ad out there is a live read. Well, why is a live read? Because they roll right into it. Mm-hmm. Right? So they're reading the news and they go, by the way, speaking of a car crash, have you seen what's happening in the housing market? You need to get a hold of blah, 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 blah. Yes. So it's like this seamless blending in to stand out. Yes. Right? And so I write to them oh, geez, 200, 300 times. And I, and by the way, I might have a PS, usually the call to action is on a PS, if there's a link, but I'll do many without any links at all. 